Hi, I'm Mary Church Terrell and welcome to Draw My Life. I was born in Memphis, Tennessee on September 23rd, 1863. My parents were both former slaves, but were emancipated and lived successful lives. My mother owned a hair salon and my father was a real estate dealer. I had a younger brother whom I loved very much. When I was still young, my parents got a divorce and I was sent to school in Ohio. After elementary school, I attended Oberlin College. It was very rare for a woman of my color to attend college, but I still did. After graduating, I became a teacher at the college I graduated from. My father did not like that and wanted me to pursue a different career. I remained as a teacher anyway because I was a grown ass woman and could make my own decisions. After a few years of teaching at the college, I moved to Washington, D.C. There, I met the love of my life, my husband, Robert Hurden Terrell. Married women were not allowed to work as teachers, so when we got married in 1891, I had to resign. One year after my marriage, I received news that a close friend of mine back in Memphis was lynched. That led me to become a social activist for black communities. I became the first president of the National Association of Colored Women and began focusing on racial education. Our group started kindergartens and community programs for improving the education and lives of black communities. Later on, I also joined the National American Women's Suffrage Association that focused on getting the right to vote for women. In 1940, I wrote my autobiography titled A Colored Woman in a White World. Y'all should buy it. In 1948, I continued fighting for equality and became the first black woman in the National Association of University Women. One day in Washington, D.C., I felt like treating myself at a fine restaurant. When I went in, the manager told me it was a whites only restaurant and I was not welcome, so I sued his ass. I won and segregation was banned in all restaurants in Washington, D.C. In 1954, I witnessed the U.S. Supreme Court's Brown vs. Board of Education ruling. It ended segregation in schools. I felt joyous that my years of fighting for civil rights was finally paying off. Two months later, on July 24, 1954, I died. My home in Washington, D.C. has been named a National Historic Landmark. Thank you for watching. The end.